Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a coloring book interior. Let's say you don't have the elite version. I highly recommend you get the elite version of Nudie Creator so that you can create your uh, coloring books all with a Nudie Creator, have all this done for you, formatted for you right away. I have a link to it down below. But let's say you don't wanna get it right now. You wanna test it out on your own. Um, then you wanna create your own. You wanna go to Canva, okay? I use Canva. Uh, go to custom size. Um, go to 8.5 by 11 inch. If not, just type it in here. Make sure this is inch 8.5 by 11 inch. Okay. Uh, there's the option right here. I'm just, I'm just going to choose this. Okay. Now this is your beginning. W what you want is you want a copy title, uh, copyright title page, and you want a test color page. And then from there, you wanna start your book. You don't wanna just start your book off the get. You wanna first add your, your, your copy title page, right? So let's say I'm gonna go with text here. I'm gonna make sure I use a text that is um, accessible to me, that's commercially viable. You gotta do your own research, but okay, okay, regular is a good one, okay? Um, also, I also wanna make it colorable. You don't have to. Actually, I'm not gonna make it colorable. I'm gonna I'm gonna save that for later on in the video. So let's let's title this "Gnomes from from the Forest." Gnomes from the Forest. Let's say you found a really cool niche, Gnomes from the Forest. And that's another thing, guys. A little off topic, but don't create a book based on what you think is a good idea. That's not what I do. I sell coloring books based on what people already are already looking for. Okay, really important. So, anyways. Gnomes from the forest. I'm gonna have it up here. I'm gonna shrink it down. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that I want to fall within the bleed. So I'm gonna be overly cautious. You see this pink um, rectangle that appears within the within the template. You want to be mindful of that. Okay. You don't want to go too over like this because then you go over the bleed. You want to fall within there. Okay. Something like that. Okay. Gnomes from the forest. I'm going to. Um, now I'm gonna to go to elements and what I want, what's that called? A graph? Oh yeah, that's what that's what I want. A grid, sorry, I want a grid. Okay, cool, grid, okay, grids. Okay, I'm gonna select this one here. You want one that you can manipulate the corners, the, the size, all that good stuff, like that, because we're gonna put an image here as our title page. Oh, I almost forgot. You want to add, you want to duplicate this, and you want to put your author name by, I don't know, Stephen, by Steve, uh, by Steve Miller. Is that the, the famous musician, Steve Miller? <laughs> Anyways, uh, great band, I think. Um, keep that there. It's a little narrow. I'm gonna widen up a little bit like that. Don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna change that in a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna take this Steve Miller, duplicate, bring that down here, shrink that up because that's way too big. I recommend over over 17, um, 17 pixels font size. Okay, now we're gonna go to um, Chat GPT or yeah, I don't know Gemini, whatever Gemini, and any free AI will will do. Uh, let's see what we get here. Done. Okay. Uh, create um, a copyright uh, um, legal. Um, what is it? Disclaimer for my coloring book. Let's see what Gemini does. Okay. This is cool. Sorry. This is way too long. Way too long. Make it shorter, please. You always wanna say please and thank you, even to the AI, trust me. Let's see what happens here. Okay, I'll go with this, why not? Uh, copyright, copy this, go here, dump, dump that in there. You wanna paste it, allow. Like that. Let me zoom in so I know what, what, what I'm what I'm working with here. 
zoom in like that. This is going to be a longer video, guys, because, uh, well, creating an interior is easy. It just takes a little bit of time. That's why we created the new recreator speedy book export. Okay, so put in year, put in the year 2025 and author name. I get rid of those brackets. Author name, Steve Miller. Don't use uh, famous author names or famous celebrity names because that's a great way to get in trouble. You can use a pseudonym. You don't have to use your own name. Just make sure um, that uh, it's free to use, right? Make you know, be creative with that. Okay, that's cool. Like that. Bring it down just a bit. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to duplicate it, duplicate it again. I'm going to zoom out. So I know what I so I know what I'm looking at here. I'm gonna change this now. Get rid of this. Get rid of this paragraph. And I'm gonna put get rid of this text up down here. And I'm gonna call this text. Sorry, color test. Color test, just like that. And why not? Let's let's add a border. Let's go to effects and give it an outline. Excuse me, an outline. Let's change the color to black. And let's go to this A here and change that to white. And actually, let's go back to the effects. Let's increase the thickness on that. Okay. Now, look what we got here. A very colorable text. And you want that. You want to separate yourself. You want to make your AI images, whatever type of images you're using. You know, once you, once you create PDF out of this, it's uniquely yours. If you just have the coloring page image as is, and you took it off some site, then it's you know that's not good. But you wanna you wanna make things your own. Okay, so now we have color tests here. What do we do after that? We're going to go and look for squares within Canva. Go to elements, go to square, like that. Now, this works fine here. Uh, is it black? Yeah, we want to keep this black. Uh, here's the color for the square. Let's make that black. Beautiful. Let's shrink it down a little bit. Pop it up here. Remember, be mindful of that. Um, be mindful of that uh, pinkish uh, border there. We, we don't want to cross over too much. Actually, that, that being said, let's increase the size of this color test. Make it nice and big, beautiful like that. Now I'm going to duplicate this like that duplicate again and just canva already knows canva is just a an amazing tool and i'm gonna bring it down actually i'm gonna move it center like that and duplicate that bring it down like that duplicate that the whole thing just highlight the whole thing and duplicate it and duplicate it can we do one more no we can't okay that's too much we're going over okay boom now we got our color test page okay really important okay so we got our title copyright we got our uh color test now we're going to use this here get rid of all this stuff here actually let me let me re bring that back up let me get rid of this text down here let me make this colorable just like i showed you a second ago go to effects go to outline uh, make this black like that and let's increase the, the thickness a little bit let's go to 84 five cool let's go to this big a here let's make that white okay let's bring that down like that okay and we're going to increase the size of this make sure that it fits neatly within the page like i said be mindful of those corners there okay like that and uh let's duplicate this and number this this is kind of a pain numbering things Let's make this a nice simple. Oh, we'll just keep it. Keep this. Shrink that down to make that small. Let's go to 17. Actually, yeah, 17 sounds good. Let's name that. We're gonna call that one because this is page one now. Okay. So let's bring that down a little bit like that. This is page one. Very good. Now we're gonna name. Uh, we're gonna get some images of some gnomes. Oh, what did I do? Hmm? Okay, cool. Now, 
uh, before I do that, I want to duplicate this, okay, and I want to get rid of everything. Nothing, okay, because you need a, let me tell you something. When, when, you, when you have a coloring book and you're coloring a page, a coloring page, it might bleed over, okay? So you want the, the next page over to be white, to be blank, okay? That's, that's what you want to do, okay? I know it's a waste of paper, and not, but that's how coloring books are done, okay? Really important. Um, and I got a lot of, and I've, you know, when I first started selling coloring books, I did get some negative reviews, people complaining that I didn't have blank pages between my coloring pages. You need to have that, okay? It's, it's not negotiable, okay? Okay, so remember that, okay? So you got your copyright, you got your color test, you got your first page for your coloring book, you got your blank page, and all you're gonna do is repeat, right? Duplicate, you're hitting this little button, duplicate your coloring page image, bring it down. You're gonna make sure, you know, keep tabs. This is number two, right? And then we're going to duplicate that the blank page and let me show you what it's going to look like you see we have our copyright color test first page blank second page blank and so forth okay now the minimum um uh, uh page count for any book at this size is 24 but we're not going to stop at 24 you want at least 40 coloring uh, book pages that brings a total to 80 plus these two here means 82, 82 pages, okay? That's the minimum, okay? Now, again, you don't want a giant coloring book either. You don't want to send the Bible in the mail. So you want to keep it around 80 pages, including blank pages, you know, 82 pages, including these two first pages, okay? Really important to remember. Now, this is the easy part. You're gonna go, uh, you're gonna go to your uploads, wherever you have the images here, I got some images from my uh, past coloring books I'm gonna use right now. Uh, I got a gnome coloring book. Okay, here it is, I'm gonna go to this gnome section. Okay, uh, actually, let's go with, let's go with a kawaii, uh, kawaii. So I'm gonna change this to kawaii, kawaii forest. Kawaii Forest. Let's increase the size on that. Forget the gnomes for now. Okay, cool, Kawaii Forest. Um, and we're gonna just start dropping these images onto these grids. Okay, so I'm gonna add this, boom. Now that's our copyright title page image. Next one, you have to keep tabs. Okay, drop that in there, boom, like that. And if you want to, you can add a border, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, you see, look at that. I can, I can add a border. How did I do that? You wanna click on the grid, go up here to this borderline thickness. You can make it really thick or really thin. I wanna, I wanna keep a border here, okay? Same thing up here. Forgot that, we should keep a border. Let's keep it at six. And same thing here. You wanna do it once, so you don't have to do it again and again and again. So let's make that. Let's, yeah, let's make it at a four. Okay, cool. So we got that image there. Let's name it. I don't know what's a kawaii name. Um, let me. Let's say with. Uh, uh, let's go with uh, Murasaki Saka. Uh, Purple Hill. Okay, Purple Hill Town. Murasaki Saka is a Purple Hill Town. Let's drop another one here. Let's drop this one here. Let's call this Neko Neko Uchi Cat House. Okay, I'm just doing this off the cuff, and you're going to do that again and again and again. Actually, what you want to do, let's bring this down. What you want to do is populate your entire interior with these blank templates, and then after you got your you got your page number down, all the blank pages, everything. Then you want to add your images at the end, okay? Really important. And that's how you create an interior. That's how you format a coloring book. Now, again, you can do all this work, uh, and that's what I used to do before Nudie Creator. Nudie Creator does it all for you, okay? And that's part of the Elite Bundle, and you have a link to it down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you don't want it, you can do it this way. Be good, take care, and have a great day.